Greetings, I'm Noel Deere. Welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I hope these next few minutes will encourage you as you seek to learn God's Word and abide with Christ. Our focus today is John chapter 6, verses 51 through 59. Now, uh, in our previous devotions, we have heard Jesus say, I am the bread of life. Now, Jesus continues with that metaphor and he presses it further. I think the best way to study these verses is uh, to read them all and then go back and list some precepts and some principles that Jesus teaches us here. So let's do that. Verse 51, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. The bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. Now, clearly, this is a metaphor. Jesus calls himself the living bread. Now, some of Jesus' hearers and even some people today struggle with whether or not this is a metaphor. But clearly it is. It's an illustration. Jesus is painting a picture to teach us a truth about himself. Look at verse 52. At that time, the Jews argued among themselves, how can this man give us his flesh to eat? So now here we see the struggle. They're struggling to understand that this is a metaphor. Uh, of course it is. And we saw that in verse 51 and, and the verses that preceded that. Verse 53. So Jesus said to them, Truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life in yourselves. Now, this can be a shocking statement unless you keep in mind that it's an illustration, that it's a metaphor. Uh, now, uh, I do think Jesus meant for this to be striking. Jesus is trying to shake the people up a little bit. He's trying to shake them out of their long-held view that following God is just about keeping the rules. And so it's not shocking, but it is striking. Look at verse 54. The one who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. So now here, Jesus creates a division. There are those who eat his flesh and drink his blood, and they will have life. And then there are those who do not eat his flesh and drink his blood, and they will not have eternal life. Look at verse 55. Because my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. So necessary for physical life is food and drink. We have to have something to eat and we have to have something to drink. And here he says, I am the spiritual food and the spiritual drink necessary for spiritual life. Look at 56. The one who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Now, in this verse, Jesus introduces an important new understanding of our relationship with Christ. He's talking about we remain in him and he remains in us. Your Bible might say he abides, we abide in him, and he abides in us. I love this picture, and I talk about abiding in Christ at the beginning and end of every one of these devotion videos. This is an important concept, but instead of diving deeply here on this, let's hold it until we get to John chapter 15, and there we'll have another chance to do so. Verse 57, just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. He says, the Father is living, and the Father sends me, and so the one who trusts in me will receive life from me. Jesus is the source of life. And then 58, this is the bread that came down from heaven. It is not like the manna your ancestors ate and they died. The one who eats this bread will live forever. Now, this is not a reference to the Lord's Supper, and there are many reasons why we know 
that it's not a reference to the Lord's Supper. We don't have time to go into all of those in this devotion. The simplest reason is that the Lord's Supper is something that Jesus uh, institutes. It's something that he gives to the disciples much later in his ministry. And so that would have been a foreign uh, a foreign concept to them at this point. And so it's just too early to be about the Lord's Supper. And there are many other reasons. Uh, this is about a just a continuation of the metaphor. Uh, Jesus is saying that I am the bread, and so those who internalize me will have life, spiritual life, because I am the spiritual uh, sustenance. Look at verse 59. He said these things while teaching in the synagogue of Capernaum. Now, those can be some very difficult verses uh, to uh, wrap your mind around. In fact, in our next devotion, we'll see how even the disciples struggled with these verses. But let me now take a moment and pull out some precepts, some principles that, uh, that we learn in these difficult verses. First, following God is more is about more than just an intellectual assent and a commitment to follow the rules. It's about a trust and a reliance on the Lord. It's about internalizing our love for the Lord. So to eat something means to take it into the heart, take it into the body, and to trust in it for our life. And so to follow Christ is not just about following some rules. It's about truly trusting him. Uh, the second principle, as bread or food is required for physical life, so Jesus is the source and the sustenance for spiritual life. We'll not know spiritual life and will not know eternal life apart from Christ. And then finally, as the metaphor Jesus gives is radical here. He speaks of a radical commitment to an alignment with the Lord. Jesus is not looking for just a casual commitment. I think that's why he uses this uh, harsh language. And we'll see in the next devotion that many people reject this and leave. And Jesus, of course, doesn't want anyone to leave, but he doesn't want anyone to stay with a casual commitment. Jesus is not looking for just a general association. Uh, he doesn't want you just to associate with him. Jesus is looking for complete, radical heart trust in him. And he uh, describes that in these difficult verses we find in John chapter 6. Friends, thanks for watching or listening today. If you're on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons on your uh, favorite podcasting app. Just search for Pastor Noel's Daily Devotions. I hope you have a great day as you endeavor to abide in Christ. Yeah.